OpenAI has just released an update to ChatGPT. So in today's video, we're going to check out everything associated with it. We're going to look at the updates when it comes to the GPT store and our GPTs. Furthermore, we are starting to get more functionality within our GPTs and our ways of interacting with the GPTs. So let's go ahead and find out in today's video everything we need to know. About 30 minutes ago, if you're on OpenAI's mailing list, you received an email. And in that email, we got details of all the new features that have been added to ChatGPT and to the workspace. So first, let's go over the new feature that's added to the workspace if you have the Teams plan with ChatGPT. Now, to be clear, if you want to see a more in-depth video on the Teams plan or you don't even know what it is, check out that video right there. I did a whole in-depth video. It was like 13 minutes long of all the features it has as of now. This is a new feature, though. So this new feature seems to be more along the lines of originally when we created our workspaces and we had GPT specialized for our businesses in our workspace, it would be that everyone within the organization would have access to the GPTs within that workspace. But now we're able to share the specific GPTs with specific individuals. What is the value point here? First major value point would be in the context that in that specific GPT, there is data that is sensitive and should only be seen by that individual within that organization. Furthermore, there may be a use case here that maybe the marketing department doesn't need a GBT that is specialized in financials. They need it to be specialized in other realms. In addition, as you see, they also have the ability to duplicate the shared GBT and add maybe additional information to it that would make it better for their specific use case. Maybe add a knowledge file, some custom code, whatever it may be. That's the new feature for the Teams plan. So the next major feature that was added specifically is for our GBTs. And this one was definitely requested back in November when we were creating them together. It's the ability to have a history with it, more specifically a version history with it. I made a video last month showing you how to leverage the feature of custom instructions and actually give you a GPT as well to help you build your custom instructions. If you don't know what custom instructions is, it basically allows you to get more effective answers. So when GPT starts rambling about something that is way off topic, the issue is that you don't have custom instructions. So you can check out that video to set that up. Now though, we have the ability to get versions within our actual updating of our custom instruct or our GPTs. And that is done with this little button right here. And we're gonna simply click version history. So since this is a new feature, we're not gonna see any versions right now. So we have just, you know, the February 15th, 2024 at 10 a.m. Let me make a slight change so we can see how we can leverage this new feature. Coming over to configure. Also, if you wanna know a ton of stuff when it comes to GBTs, this channel is the channel for you. There's a whole playlist. I'm gonna leave at the end here, everything you need to know. But let's say I didn't like the description or I changed the instructions, whatever it may be. We can go ahead and say, help create custom chat GBT instructions for you, exclamation mark. And then I can hit update. Now we got our GBT updated and I can come up here and this is how we leverage version history. Come over to version history. I'm gonna reload this. When I reload that, we got our new little divot here. This is very valuable, especially if you are planning on trying something a little bit crazy and then you wanna restore it back to the version that is like stable, right? So we can restore to the version by simply clicking the three ellipses. So let's say, you know, I, I leave that description and I'm like, you know what? I don't like this or I completely messed up on my instructions and it goes crazy on me. I can simply click this and hit restore to this version and we're gonna say restore to this version. And we're back here with our original description. They have also added a lot more details when it comes to GBTs and what we see before we even click into one. So if I simply click like map GBT here, we'll get a lot of information about it. One side note I wanna give is that when the GBT store first came out, there was, not even talks about it. There was dictation wise, it was put into the article that there'd be a revenue share model in regards to sharing the income associated with people using your GBTs. There still has been no payout. Uh, I was one of the top 12 GBTs in the pr uh, programming niche. So I'll let you know what that payout looks like. But as of now, there is still no payout. So I have no information on that, but I guess that's gonna be very interesting when it does happen. Uh, this update, I think, happened a little bit earlier. I think they just threw it in the email just to show people. But we got ratings now and, you know, all this different information, such as, you know, the overall ratings, conversations, and category. And the final update that was given was the ability to leverage their data GBT a lot better. So we got a couple of different options here. First off, we got more suggestions. Pretty cool. Next, we got aspect ratio, which I think is probably the coolest one out of all of these. So we can just go ahead and choose widescreen here. And let's see what it does. We've got aerial, uh, crayon, and dog. Hit enter. Now it even seems like we get two different versions of the image as well. That's helpful. It's always annoying only getting like one shot at it. And as we can see, I can go ahead and grab that same prompt, command C, command V, and we can change the aspect ratio here. So maybe we want vertical. Hit enter and we'll get it in a vertical format. 
This is powerful. As before, you would kind of have to proctor it within the actual message itself, but now they made it a lot simpler in this context. And here we go. We got our vertical images here. This is crazy, y'all. This is such a leap from Dali 2. Uh, yeah, get ready for Dali 4. That concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. If you want to learn more about leveraging ChatGPT or more specifically building out GPTs, I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here all about that. Everything. Custom actions, OAuth, you know, data integration, everything you need to know when it comes to leveraging ChatGPT in the context of GPTs. I'm saying GPT too much. I think because of the creation of ChatGPT, now there is a timeline where I say GPT so many times. Okay. Side note. But that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. That's the playlist I was talking about when talking about GPTs. That's a random video. Maybe good, maybe bad. It's based off your clicking history. So do you have good clicking history? That will tell you. That's my face. You click it and something may or may not happen. I don't know. See y'all later.